that Logan would be the movie that ended Hugh Jackman's ties with the X-Men franchise. However, recent stories reveal that's not actually the case. If you want to find out what's going to happen with Wolverine in the following years, then keep on watching, because here is Logan 2 first look. Let's dive right into it, shall we? How the 2017 Logan Ended Before we jump into some of the crazy rumors, insane fan theories, and wacko stories about the sequel, we wanted to give you a short refresher. Logan started off in the year 2029, Wolverine was actually getting old, and his ability to heal his wounds in seconds was slowly draining. He and Xavier thought that there have been no mutants born for 25 years, but we later found out that this is simply not true. They may have not been born naturally, but there were more mutants on this planet. One of them was Laura, whom they cloned from the DNA of Logan, and this is why he considered her to be the daughter he never had. Fast forward past all of the running, all of the fighting, and of course the gruesome killing, and we get near the end of the movie. This is where old Logan was fighting his younger self, and he inevitably lost. Before young Logan could finish his older self, Laura took one of the adamantium bullets and she literally blew his brains out. With his life slowly fading, Logan said to Laura to avoid becoming the weapon she was always meant to be. She can start anew and become something other than a killing machine. Because it was such a powerful ending, we'll come back to that in just a minute. Upon his death, Laura and her friends buried Logan and instead of placing a cross above his head, she made an X. This paid homage to Logan being the last X-Man. The Sequel About X-23 Since Disney acquired 21st Century Fox, all of the rights from the X-Men passed down to Disney. And since Disney owns the right to the MCU, we're going to finally see Marvel merging the worlds of X-Men, which were part of the Marvel Comics, and the rest of the MCU. Even though Hugh Jackman has said several times that he's not going to be returning as Wolverine, Disney will surely not let this opportunity go to waste. They're sure as hell not going to let Wolverine, the most popular character in X-Men, rot away, and yet Disney had to fork out $71.3 billion to purchase Fox. So what's the news? Is there going to be a new movie? And more importantly, will it feature Hugh Jackman in it? There have been speculations surrounding the release of a sequel to Logan. It all started after the premiere and massive success of Logan. After people saw Daphne Keene kill it in the role of Laura or X-23, people started talking about a sequel or a spin-off. On top of that, fans got overly excited because the movie ended with an opening for another story. The one where Daphne Keene, aka Laura, aka X-23, would be the main character. For a while, it seemed to be the case. Logan director James Mangold said that an X-23 spin-off is possible. We started being overly optimistic about this since Mangold, Hutch Parker and Hugh Jackman acknowledged the trend of female superheroines in movies. Mangold pointed out that the success of Wonder Woman proves this to be the case. And yet, we've never heard anyone talk about this spin-off ever since. Now, there was that one case when Daphne Keene was on Ellen promoting her new role on the series, His Dark Materials, where she talked about the possibility of a sequel to Logan. She said that the director and the producers all told her that such a movie is very plausible in the near future. Regardless, the actress didn't know what to think, since no one has ever said anything since. And yes, Daphne said that she would be more than happy to reprise her role. But problems did arise, and there are those who think that the new movie is never going to happen because Disney wouldn't go for it. So here's the deal. While they would like to capitalize on the popularity of the X-Men franchise, and incorporate into their MCU, they would probably do it starting off with a clean slate. This means that even though we're probably going to see more X-Men movies in the future, it doesn't necessarily mean that those movies will pick up where the Fox ones left off. So what's the big idea? Well, there's one person that made a fan trailer and he talked about the fusion of both Wolverine and Deadpool. So that would be interesting. Hello. Hi there. You know, you gotta pay for that, right? The craziest one of all is the merge with Deadpool. One of the craziest fan trailers we've ever seen is the one with Deadpool in it. This one doesn't even mention X-23. It goes straight into the relationship of Wolverine and Deadpool. The trailer starts off with Deadpool looking over the grave of Wolverine 
He then looks at a sketch that has a pretty simple formula. Him plus Wolverine equals lots of money for the red spandex guy who can't die. That's why he takes out a syringe with some green serum inside and plunges it through Logan's chest. This revives Logan and he's back into action. He wants to buy Deadpool a drink at an old brothel and the duo is back to fighting crime. And you know what? This thing made us seriously think about this option. Even though it's a pretty big stretch of the imagination, we have to admit that a sequel like this might actually be possible. After all, we did talk about how Disney would probably want to start off with a clean slate. Well, this is as clean as it would get. They would get to revive the most popular character in the franchise and they could merge it with another very popular and beloved character from a different movie. And we don't even have to mention how funny it would be seeing Logan alongside Deadpool. The first one is calm, collected, macho and serious. The other one is none of those things. Result? A superhero movie that's comedic gold. What we sure as hell can't expect One of the things that we sure as hell can't expect to happen is Hugh Jackman returning for the role of Wolverine. The actor has openly said during numerous interviews that he thinks it's time to move on from his role as Wolverine in the movies. So even though this one trailer got over half a million views, it's not happening. If Jackman is a man of his word, which he is, then this trailer is just wishful thinking. Legendary fan trailer creator Billy Kramer has done an impeccable job with this trailer and we think that it would be fitting to represent Disney's probable upcoming movie. But there's no way Jackman would be a part of it. In this trailer, Kramer shows the resurrection of Logan, how he came back from the dead and continued his fight with the forces of evil. But regardless, we can't forget that this is just a fan trailer. Oh, and we should mention that Disney could use Hugh Jackman for a cameo appearance in one of the upcoming movies. He said that he would be opposed to playing the main character, but he said that he'd be up for a small cameo appearance in any future movies. On top of that, we think that a sequel to Logan would just ruin the first movie. It was an R-rated Wolverine movie with the proper send-off. Adding more to such a clean exit for the character would be unnecessary. Regardless of how much we would actually want to see Jackman return for the movie. In conclusion, the future is promising. Even though there aren't too many promises and there's no hardcore evidence that there would be a second Logan movie, the fact that the first one was so well received and they talked about doing another one is promising. Guess we will just have to wait and see what the production houses decide. Can we sign a petition saying we want another Logan movie? On a related note, we wanted to know what you'd like to see happen in Logan 2. You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.